Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the last look. Hopefully everyone has had a great Halloween. Um, so after I stopped playing the last part, I downloaded an update, which actually means I got my phone back, which is great. Now the phone progress actually saves. And what we were supposed to get is a message from Marianne saying that she would let us into her room if we find clues about our sister. That's why we took the photo of the thing in the archive room of the paper so I'm guessing and I'm guessing by the way this is our room because as you are about to, you, you guys remember this room right I'm hearing new sounds coming from there huh anyways as you can see the same amount of bitches that came out of the store I should try the other side of the hallway. oh shit hey let's close that door <laughs> okay, Jingle Bells is here, guys. <laughs> Didn't think she would come here that fast. But okay, she's here. Let's move away. It's okay, guys. We're fine. I really think that Jingle Bells is her. That picture pretty much says it all. Alright, um... So, second thing. I gotta get that lighter back, and then I think what I have to do, hang on. Isabel uh, uh, works in the accounting department. I don't know, I thought we might take a picture of um, Isabel's picture, I don't know why. But, uh, you know, I would assume that her sister already knows what Isabel looks like, and sh that she already works there. Um, was there something in the locker room about, um, what's her face, Isabel? Was this her locker or something? Was it? Oh no, that's Alex's locker. Um... What the fuck? Are you serious? Shit! Get- Jump, Alice! Get in the locker! Damn, that was fast, man! Does she, like, run? Or morph through the walls? And just like that, she's gone. What? I don't buy it. Something's going on. Did the patch change something? Trust. I don't trust her. Right, well, I think we are safe. I <laughs> hope. Oh. Um, this thing, was it? I don't know. That's about Janice. But Janice and Isabel seem to be involved somehow, so... You gotta keep that in mind. I don't wanna go out there, man. That thing is around. <laughs> but I gotta get the lighter back. So, we're gonna have to brave it. See, the thing is, before, like... Um, if you don't pick up the phone... Sh she doesn't really spawn. She's somewhere again. She's like, right there, outside, I think. <laughs> My god, man. Alright, so we got the lighter. Um... I'm not sure what to do with that yet. But what I need to do is, um, I need to get to that other office, because you guys remember there was something about, um, Isabel. In, uh, in that office. I'm trying to listen for the sounds, man. Because, <laughs> I don't know, she she really seems to come out of nowhere now. Um, I think I can hide in... Not not in this one, but I know I I can hide in one of the vents. Oh shit! Close. God damn it! Let <laughs> jingle bell stop hounding me for like two minutes, man. Two minutes—that's all I ask. So I can get to that office. Well, at least she was nice enough to break down the door for us. Yay! All right, so I gotta get up there. I know she's like gone back to the beginning, which is nice, I guess. Yeah, look close. I remember you. Alright, so I gotta get this vodka bottle. Question is, is that, is that actually full? Probably. Yes, it looks full. So, meaning, I gotta start a fire with that thing. I kinda think I have an idea with that, but... I can't do anything with that yet, I don't think. Let's open this thing. Um, I gotta get to that... Office. Alright, there was something about here, it's, uh, about Isabel. Right? That's, you're not gonna, uh, 
take a photo of that. Really? Okay, I thought, you know, that might have been important information, but apparently it's not. So, we gotta find more info on Isabel, but, um, really don't know where, because I thought this would be it. But I guess not. I do... Alright, what I want to do next is use that vodka bottle with the lighter, and I think I have an idea where I could use it. But now I'm afraid to go there. Alright, so I'm thinking maybe something, there might be something in the office that I can maybe get some info on. But, um, we'll find that out. I also want to see if I can, perhaps, hang on, give me the lighter. Uh, no, not that. This. Use lighter. Or, I guess that's one way to use it. Um, there was a trash can. Ages. I need something like oh, shit. Accelerant. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know why you want to do that, but I get what you're trying to do. And, as you can see, whenever I have something of a cool idea, we get interrupted. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait, hold on. I think that's where we we're supposed to get the idea from. Of course, if we survive this, I might be able to do it, but I have a very strong feeling that we will not be able to survive this. Because once she comes in here, then it's gonna be over. <laughs> I'm not sure why, I think we're supposed to like... Because I remember seeing this stuff in movies, you know? You you light up the trash in your office and then all the fire alarms start blaring off. I don't know why I want to do that, but... I just thought it would be kind of cool. Hang on, what does that say? Oh, for fuck's sake, man, let me read this. Alarms leave the office immediately. High security fire extinguisher. Do not, uh. Why do I want to trigger that, though? I don't know. Could it be that it's gonna open the lock? Hmm. Anyways, are we safe? She's right there, on the other side. So when the alarm sounds, though... Man, I kinda want her to go away. Yeah, I kinda, I kinda want her to go away because once the alarm sounds, I feel like she's gonna start running off here. And then we'll be in trouble. Alright, Latka. Your thing. Dude, don't burn it yet, cause... Apparently, she just won't leave me alone. Will you please... Are they... are there two of them? It's like, one sound is coming from that way, the other one is like, coming from that way. That's gonna be bad if that's true. Or nah, I'm just... I don't know, maybe it's my headphones. Alright guys, we're doing it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna light you up. And then... Well, come on now. What is this doing? I... Why are we doing this, Alice? I don't know what this is gonna do. Okay. Oh, I think that opened the... I heard a beeping. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's run over there. Uh, did that do anything? It did! Okay, one step I, further. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know <laughs> how that worked. But, uh, yeah, at least we got... I got the key! I'm happy, man! Let's get the hell out of here! Jingle bells, don't bother me, please. I'm, I'm, I feel good about myself right now. And, uh, oh yeah. Hang on. Is there Janice's office in there, or...? Uh... And obviously, since this thing is so descriptive, we, <laughs> we can obviously find it. But, um, alright, so I got the key for that storage room. There was a lady crying inside there, if you remember. So that's gonna be interesting to see who it is. I'm just... I'm just expecting Jingle Bells to appear, like, right around the corner to kill me. <laughs> but at least once you solve puzzles, you don't need to do them again, so the key will be ready for pickup if we do die. Which is, I guess, you know, uh, comfort, all things considered. Alright, close this. And now, let's pick up our- let's use our key to get her to unlock that door. 
I don't know, but it's probably not going to be anything good. Whoa. Janice was a slut. She did not care about others. She stopped talking. Mm, can't make out much. But there's something written about Isabel. Should take a photo for that wannabe mortician. <laughs> That's funny. So, Marianne, are we cool? Okay, let's have a chat face to face. I, I'll open the door. See you there. Sure. Let me check out the storage closet, though, in case I need to pick anything out of there. I guess, guess not. Alright, well, Marianne, let's meet. Face to face. Uh, that is a f Whoa. Uh oh. Oh shit! What? Uh, it seems there's a black again. I remember there was a fuse back in Kruger's office. Hey! How about you go do that? Get out of that shitty room! Get out of that shitty room and, you know, go take care of that. I'm not doing that. Hell no. Are you nuts? You do know there's like a... I don't know what that is, but I think Mrs. Claus has a friend now. Sound like a goddamn banshee, man. <laughs> Alright. Okay. If, if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Oh, shit. Can I at least use the lighter? From... What's his face? Uh, thanks for opening the door. Let's close it. Oh, it's that thing. Right? Uh, that's what- that's what's making that sound. What the shit, man. Uh... Did that work? I- I guess it did. Huh. I think it kinda did. <laughs> I'm afraid, man. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Alright, moving on. <laughs> and I feel like... The... What? What, Alice? What's going on? Time to run! Marianne, you better open the fucking door! Ah, <laughs> shit! Well, Alice, now would be the time to run really fast. Oh. Yeah, hey! Apparently it doesn't want to go into Marianne's room. Or Mary had special powers against. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I wanted more, but all right. Yeah, I I kind of saw this coming. <laughs> so yeah, that was the last look early access, guys. The other two chapters will be out um, once the full release comes. I liked it. Yeah, man. I, I, like I said, I don't know what's uh, what it is about like this whole modern office that really draws me, but I. You know, it really does. I love that environment in a horror game, man. I really do. And yeah, I liked the puzzles as well. It was kind of cool. But yeah, I, the only thing this game needs is, you know, bug fixing, you know, AI pathing polishes and things like that. Other than that, it's pretty good. I like it, especially for a horror game. I love the environment and the tense atmosphere of it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Once the full release comes out, I will definitely play the other chapters. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.